Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. So in this one, we have the launch of the Valentine's Day Fusion Chamber event plus a special quest for the Valentine's Day card. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. Here, we got a couple things to get through in this video, but starting off with a deck update, which there is quite a few changes. Starting off on the female side, I believe everything is actually the same on the females. Uh, nothing to really update there. But if we flip over to the males, I can show you i was able to pro up this cactus jack finally so this cactus jack is now in my top 16 of males and if we go into my combinables look at all the royal rumble 23 pros i have to pro up and can you believe it not one of them is an up arrow so my up arrow deck is still suffering very bad my directional deck on the up arrows there but everywhere else seems to be doing okay i'm overly good on right and left arrows like i have an abundance of right and left arrows i have two more down arrows coming so this jay uso and this mr perfect which is going to finish off the down arrows but once again zero up arrows at all but I'll, I'll get one from william regal this weekend and then the pro next weekend but as far as getting some regular ones i have no luck so far so hopefully i'll be able to get one soon however if i do pro all of these up if we take a look at my mails i just need four more royal rumble 23 cards i don't even need to pro up all those cards and i will fill up my entire top 16 with uh pro royal rumble 23s which means i do not not need any more royal rumble 23 pros i am going to hold on to them a little bit longer just in case i get some up arrow pros and, and pro those up but uh other than that we're not uh trying too hard on the royal rumble 23 tier anymore we're looking ahead to maybe the road to wrestlemania tier i don't know if they're going to do that again this year but i guess we'll see but yeah i'm in the middle of doing edge right now so i've done one of them and the other one i'm just in the middle of doing i'm gonna flip from that to jay uso here because one of them is almost done and the other one is is just getting started and then i'm gonna do kurt henning get my all my down arrows out of the way and then if there's still room or extra time left i'll do the xavier woods and the great Kali. but i'm not really prioritizing those too, too much hopefully i will get another up arrow before then and i will be able to prioritize that instead so looking forward to that done with the royal rumble 23 tier as far as males still looking for a couple females only have uh the four right or three right now and yeah hopefully i'll get a couple more females in the future i do have like quite a bit of single royal rumble 23 females one two three four five six so i have six no i have five i have five regular um royal rumble 23 females and i think there's like 13 in total so if you count the ones that i've already proed up i have like more than half of the females so i think some some pros should start rolling in i don't know i'm trying to use statistics to justify how i'm going to get a female pro but that's not how this works is it anyway guys let's uh let's get into a couple things going on in the game here starting off with the fusion chamber the fusion chamber uh event has begun now for the uh, valentine's day event so basically how it works is that you just use cards to be able to get these collectibles here you cannot pull these winged heart collectibles off the draft board it's only through here it does take quite a lot of points to get that but just for an ingredient i should say but uh it is doable so you just throw in some cards there you get one of them and if you want to use one you can use it on this pack here which you have a lower chance to get some of these valentine's day cards that we took a look at in the last episode so there's rick rude which is the royal rumble 23 cora jade the extinction and madcap moss the octane i still have not figured out if these babies are actually superstars which i'm pretty sure they are actually superstars but i can't figure out who is who so for now they're they're nobody you can use it for the the ch uh, lower chance at one of these valentine's day cards and there's also brutus the barber beefcake octane let's see if we can find all of them there's emma which is an octane and then there's the miz which is a, a royal rumble 23 and there's Braun breaker which is an extinction there's maurice which is a royal rumble 23 which we took a look at that card already and there's Shawn michaels which is another extinction card so it's a very small pool of cards this time they usually have like five to six superstars per tier but this time they're going only three per tier which is kind of annoying especially because all the male royal rumble 23s both ravishing rick rude and the miz are blue arrows so <laughs> does not help me there at all which is kind of annoying but i guess it is what it is but uh i don't know they they picked a kind of random crop of superstars and not a very big one so i don't know if they're kind of phoning it in for this valentine's day event and also the the card designs are, are cool they're okay they're not amazing i don't know i don't think this year's valentine's day festivities really lit up the 
party. I don't know <laughs> what metaphor I'm saying, but anyway. So you can use one collectible to get the small one, or you can do the one I'm doing now, uh, which you can use two collectibles to get a higher chance at one of the Valentine's Day cards, which only goes down to Ronin to Royal Rumble 23. But it takes two collectibles and it takes a lot of points. So you have to put at least like a pro octane, maybe two pro octanes in there and a bunch of regular octane cards to be able to actually get this. So it is very demanding the amount of points you actually need to get this, but I'm okay with that because I have a lot of extra cards that I could get rid of and I don't mind having to spend some of these cards and, and dwindle down my deck a little bit more so I can hold more cards in the future. But yeah, so all it costs is some cards. It doesn't cost any other, or sorry, the two ingredients and cards, but you can get everything in this Fusion Chamber event just on your cards whenever you want. Uh, you don't need to wait to pull something off the board or mix ingredients or anything like that. So a pretty run of the mill Fusion Chamber event, but that is going on for 18 more days there. I don't have any of the, oh uh, no, I did actually, sorry, I shouldn't say that. I did get one actually. I got one of the, I think it was Extinctions Valentine's Day cards. I was about to say I didn't get any so far, but I am pretty sure I did. And that uh, there it is, that Braun Breaker card. So yeah, Extinction card, I'm not gonna use it, but it is there so that's pretty cool i guess um hopefully you get some rural Rumble 23s especially that maurice i'm really hoping to get uh, that maurice card um and uh and be able to pro that up so that would be pretty exciting and uh with that valentine's day fusion chamber event we also have a quest going on right now so we take a look we have the tunnel of love quest which we did talk about a bit last week but it isn't officially in the game now so we can discuss exactly what you need to do and what the rewards are the first challenge is super so you use your super move 20 times and you get an exclusive draft pick for that uh card pro is you combine two valentine's day superstar cards to make a pro so it's not a perfect pro you just pro them up zero stats it doesn't make a difference and this is fairly easy because you can pull all the old and all the new valentine's day cards right off the board as well so all like the swarm and behemoth and biomechanical you can pull them right off the board and then you can pro those up pretty easily so that didn't take me that long you only have to do that five times and i've as you can see i've already completed that and you get one train up here as well for that and then the next one is acquire a specific superstar card which is a valentine's day card and once again you just pull them right off the board and that was only five of them so that went super quickly as well i assume you guys have already beat that one if you've been playing the game it's very very easy and then for that one you get a support card depending on your tier uh, and then after that you go have to acquire 30 tickets it seems like the ticket one has been in every single quest lately so i should have known to save up my tickets but i didn't i don't really care that much honestly so i'll just wait the three days it's not a big deal but if you do that you get a bonus chance at one of the valentine's day cards and then plus two base cards there so just like the bonus pack that we have in the store usually and then if you complete all four objectives you get one of the valentine's day cards if you're in one of the top tiers or just a card of your tier if you're in one of the lower tiers in this case i'll either get the maurice the miz or ravishing rick rude from completing all this so that's pretty cool pretty rewarding they're not making it like a chance to get a valentine's day card they're actually giving you some so uh that would be pretty awesome when i do complete that like i said hopefully i do get maurice but who knows what's gonna happen but that is the tunnel of love quest there by the time you're watching this there's probably like two days left but as of right now there's six so i'm probably gonna be able to complete it before the next video and i'll show off which royal rumble 23 valentine's day card i actually got from that all right and that is it as far as the valentine's day event going on right now guys additionally if you want to spend some credits to get these valentine's day cards there's actually two bonus chance packs uh, and one of them is actually pretty good but let's take a look at the regular one right now so this one you have a 15 percent chance to get one of the bonus cards which is the valentine's day cards and then out of that bonus chance you have a 60 percent for the extinction 30 percent for octane and 10 percent for royal rumble 23 so a very very minuscule chance that you'll actually get a Royal Rumble 23 card. I believe the odds are 1.5% that you'll get, a, considering all the different things you have to hit. It's a 1.5% chance you'll actually get a Royal Rumble 23 card from this pack, so that's pretty crappy. But if we flip over to the other one, it's in the air pack here, which is 1500 credits. You now have a 50% chance to get the bonus, which that's already pretty awesome. And then on top of that, you have a 60% chance to actually get the Royal Rumble 23 card. So that does work in your favor quite well, actually. Honestly, I was tempted to get one of these i wasn't sure because let me see what the what the odds are now they have a 30 percent chance to get a a royal rumble 23 card there so that's pretty good um so you might not get it on the first one but generally on probably the second or third one you're you're, you're pretty likely to probably get one uh within if you get three of them you're likely to get at least one so pretty cool there once again i'm thinking about getting this should I just get it on video? Let's just get one on video with you guys. All right, to make up for the fact that I got Scott Steiner without you guys, I'm gonna just get one of these packs 
see what happens. There's a chance I like. There's a decent chance I can get a Royal Rumble 23 from this. Let's see what happens. Not even a bonus chance. God damn it! <laughs> I didn't even hit the 50%. Okay, let's get one more. Just one more. All right, I got one more here. This is my last one. <laughs> I better get. I better get one. Otherwise, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, last one here. Let's just do it. Let's just get the Royal Rumble 23, please. Octane. Damn it! Damn it! It wasn't even the female Octane. Crap. Ah, oh, forget it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get into some war games. That was annoying. Let's get into some war games here. We got war games this weekend. I saved one last round for you guys here so we can get this William Regal card together because we're so awesome. But before we talk about war games, I have something to talk to you guys about. I am unbelievably thankful and ecstatic that I've hit a thousand subscribers on, on YouTube here. So I really, you guys don't understand how much I, I really appreciate this. And, and I've, it's been so much dedication and work and I've, I've loved doing this and I've just, I don't even know what to say. It's been a really long journey. I started this channel about three years ago and, and at this point it's completely different than what it started out to be and it's morphed and changed and grew out like and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and, and honestly I just can't believe that a thousand people actually care about what I'm saying, <laughs> let alone subscribe to my content to be able to see it every every time I release a video. Like you guys don't understand how much this means to me. It's, it started out as a passion project of something I wanted to do for a long time and just a lot of reasons to start it. And, and I, I never thought that I would get to this point even. I thought, hey, I'm just doing this as a hobby and, and I'll get where I get, but I'm unbelievably thankful to everybody who subscribed to the channel and all the support I've gotten from you guys and, and you guys don't understand, like I said, how much this means to me and, and where this channel is going to go from here. We're going to keep growing. I'm going to bring this to the top. This is like my baby and I, I, I'm speechless. Honestly, thank you guys. Thank you for a, a thousand subscribers right from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I appreciate it. But enough of that. Let's get into some war games here. I'm almost done the friggin' bout now and I got a, somehow a triple overrun here, which is pretty cool. But yeah, war games has been war games, you know, nothing too special. Things have been going down. I got that other Mr. Perfect from war games here. Uh, as we, sh as I showed you earlier, I'm going to pro that up eventually, but for right now, we're just uh, going through here, trying to get that William Regal card. That William Regal is going to help me out a lot because it is an up arrow. Like I mentioned, I think I'm actually going to lose this match. Yep. I did. So I meant I'm going to have to do another one. That's okay. Cause I, I talked about my channel throughout the entire first bout there. But yeah, war games has been, has been fine. Um, I'm not going to go for the heroic because it's Shelton Benjamin, the Royal Rumble 23 and it is an up arrow, but I don't have Shelton Benjamin already. So if it was a pro up arrow, I might have forced it. But yeah, I'm just going to hang back and I'm, I'm going to I'm just going to leave it with uh, Mr. Perfect. I'm going to get very upset because probably right after War Games ends, I'm probably going to get a Shelton Benjamin somewhere. We're almost 23 Shelton Benjamin, I am pretty sure. But uh, for the time being, I, I would just stick with William Regal. Yeah, I'm pretty excited because next weekend I will be at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view in Montreal. I'm quite happy and excited and looking forward to that. So uh, I'm going to travel there for that show. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited, actually. I, I, the, the, I, I did not expect this card to be as good as it's shaping up to be. You got Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. Edge is going to be there. Beth Phoenix is going to be there uh, having a match against Judgment Day. Um, the, we're going to have two huge chamber matches. R Roman is wrestling on the pay-per-view. We're going to have Sammy versus Roman. Like, oh my God, it's going to be one hell of a night. I'm definitely going to talk to you guys about it in uh, the video when I get back. Just to break down what it was like to be there in person and everything and everything that happened in, in the elimination chamber. I'm, I'm super excited for that, guys. And I'm going to have to figure out how to play Giants Unleashed while I'm going through all that <laughs> elimination chamber goodness. Now, it, it, I'm actually happy it's Giants Unleashed that weekend because Giants Unleashed is super easy and does not take very long. So shouldn't have to much trouble getting through that uh through the pay-per-view weekend Shawn michaels freaking took out my guys there that's okay i should be able to pick up this i should pick up enough points to be able to get that card um the william regal card so gotta wait for this timer to go down we all love war games right the originator of war games mr Re william regal is the event card which is i thought that was a pretty cool choice actually at first i was kind of confused but then i, I put the 
pieces together it kind of made sense the fact that it's a war games event this weekend and it's the royalty theme with the uh, royal rumble 23 tier and the cards and all that and uh william regal's gimmick was a lot was around that especially when he won the king of the ring so i did think it made a lot of sense so there's enough points there got the william regal i skipped the screen where i got william regal but that's okay unlocking the heroic now and yeah so we got uh don morocco dolph ziggler wade barrett Shelton Benjamin and then the heroic upgrade and let's take a look at this William Regal card he's going to be in my arrow deck actually even though he's not proed up just because I don't have any up arrows as I've mentioned <laughs> there we go and he is leveled up take a look at my males he actually is sitting in my top 16 pretty cool so there's William Regal stats he excels in power and toughness yeah nothing to really say there pretty cool card I can't even oh I can't oh I can swap the image for his manager Thing, which looks terrible i don't know why i would do that his uh, regular image looks a lot better but if it, i mean that one's okay but it's like we want the classic in his prime william regal there there you go guys that is william regal that's war games and uh everything going on in supercard right now with that valentine's day event let me know if you guys are going to grab any of those valentine's day cards how you guys did in war games this weekend if you got regal and if you're going to go for it next weekend as well and also stay tuned for that elimination chamber breakdown and next video where we get into the fallout of atomic drop and everything that's going on in the game guys thanks so much for stopping by guys hope you did enjoy there's a subscribe button right underneath me here some more videos on the right and i'll catch you guys in the next one